This year they've made a magnificent seven tournament finals and claimed two titles. They're one of the game's deadliest teams and a run to the Shanghai quarterfinals has seen them book their place at the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. Well, it means a lot. Uh, first of all, because I mean, our main goal for the season is to qualify for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals and being able to do that this week uh, in this event will be very nice for us. We know how tough it is uh, and how interesting it's going to be in the end of the year. This year we're also qualified already, so it's nice. I mean, we can watch all the excitement from the outside, like as, as kind of fans. And I think it's it's very exciting weeks in singles and doubles. Um, the, the, the race to the back is to be able to finance at the end. Uh, it comes down to the wire in Paris, I guess. And yeah, it's going to be interesting matches. For Alexander Payer and Bruno Suarez, this is their second successive trip to the season finale. Yeah, it's, it's the best event we, we have the whole year, no doubt about that. Not only for doubles, I think in general, it's, I mean, last year we were part of the event and we saw uh, from the inside how nice it is and how special it is to be there. And in doubles, it's just, I mean, a fantastic uh, atmosphere. The venue is amazing. Uh, I mean, the setup, everything that they do is just so perfect. So we're really happy to be able to come back this year and uh, hopefully many more. Last year we experienced it, uh, so yeah, it was just, of course, it was our main goal to, to get back there, to get back on that court and try to have some good matches. Since teaming up in 2012, this Austrian-Brazilian pair has gone from strength to strength, and they started 2014 impressively, making two finals in the first two weeks of the season. We kept on playing well uh, throughout the whole season. We've been very consistent. I think this is one of our strengths. Uh, we are able to play in a good level on every surface and everywhere that we played. So I think that helps us to be able to fight and play well in different conditions. A great summer saw victory at Queen's Club, followed by a successful title defence at the Rogers Cup. In Canada, we are still unbeaten in Canada, <laughs> which was, was very nice. It was a special week, of course. If you win a thousand, it was uh, our second one. Uh, it was a great week, uh, but also like a week like Queen's, I mean, very traditional tournament um, with, with a lot of great teams uh, in the draw. It was very special to win that as well. Player and Suarez are the third team to qualify for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. And with doubles more competitive than ever, that's no mean feat. We got a lot of the singles guys playing doubles together as a team because we've been seeing them playing a lot of doubles but I feel like right now they all want to be part of that they all want to try to qualify they all want to play together and we saw that this year with Sock Pospisil with Beneteau and Vaseline and like you said four different Grand Slam winners that shows uh, how competitive the year has been yeah no it's it, it's like Bruno said the, the mix between singles and doubles I think, I think it's great, you have different game styles, you have a lot of baseliners playing the game now, the game has evolved, has changed a little bit, uh, so you have net guys against baseliners, I think it makes it very interesting and uh, very important tactics all around and it's, it's, it's fun matches to watch. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, heading back to Europe, we're in Moscow, Stockholm and Vienna. And we find out who's in the running for the 2014 ATP World Tour Awards, presented by Moet and Chandon. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and chat with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.